Officials of Equinor continuing to conduct a massive cleanup following that oil spill in East Grand Bahama during Hurricane Dorian. This week, a 300-man team will focus on the installation of wells, which will determine to what degree groundwater has been affected. Minister of Housing and the Environment, Ramal Ferrara, gave us this update today. We won't know whether or not the groundwater is contaminated until we install the monitoring wells. So mm -hmm. the monitoring wells are essentially a hole in the ground that gives us access to the groundwater. Once those are installed, and by installation they have to be cleaned, they have to be capped, then you would take a water sample from there, send it off to an Environmental Protection Act, EPA certified laboratory, which will then make that determination. Obviously, if you look and you see visible oil in the well, then you know that's oil there, but there's another component, and that's the dissolved uh, oil products that we want to test for as well. So we want to make sure that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt whether the groundwater in the area has been impacted or not impacted as a result of the crude oil spill.